at, at some point in the next month or thereabouts, LeBron will surpass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And there will be a lot of questions that will come from that. But you seem to like what we just heard from Love LeBron it. there. Because LeBron admitted, I, I didn't come into this thing looking to score the most points. That, that wasn't my agenda. And I think the most impressive thing, isn't LeBron about to pass Magic, or did he just pass Magic? Just pass Magic. Just pass, literally. Magic and Kareem. Yeah. Both of them, the greatest passer of all time and the person with the greatest scoring weapon in the history of American sports. He's with, he passed both of them. That's what's important. It's the totality, the entirety, the variety of his game. Not to mention, you know what else I love about LeBron? And I've been interviewing people in the NBA since I came in at the end of Julius Irving. Mm -hmm. And so I got Julius and, and, and Magic and Michael and Charles and Kobe and Allen Ives, like all of it, LeBron. There's nobody better to talk to in an analytical way about basketball, particularly in the heat of a moment after a game, than LeBron James. He's, he's great at all of it, and I worry that this obsession, of, for those of us on the outside, with Kareem, I, stop. I mean, I get it. It's scoring. It, you got to do that. The number one thing is put the ball in the basket. But LeBron, his whole thing is so much more comprehensive than that. I'm, I'm, I'm not into this Kareem. I'm so very <laughs> impressed by LeBron because he's been able to reinvent himself constantly. Yes. We got introduced to him as a high school player. And for him to get into the league and exceed what we all thought he could be is incredible. And improving his game. So many times we talk about players and they end up being who they are for their entire career. He just acknowledged it. I played against LeBron. There were times where he didn't have a post game. There were times when he couldn't shoot the three, when you could go under on him and you dared him to shoot. And when you look at the evolution and the longevity and the consistency of a guy that's not only being a model professional on the floor, but you know what allows you to be a 20-year great? To be a professional and consistent off the floor. And I also want to just give shout to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. The signature sky hook. And he played three years in college. Yeah. And he still has the record and never made three-point shots. He came into the league at the age of 22. LeBron came in at 18. I think Kareem has arguably the greatest resume in the history of basketball. No doubt. But let me say this. No. Let me say this. Do a debate show in the morning, and you've got to analyze and dissect and be critical. And one of the things that I had to monitor over the years was dialing that back when it came to LeBron because I'm just looking at basketball in the moment and telling you what I see. And people would use that to character assassinate him when there is nothing to assassinate. The greatest thing that you could say about LeBron James, believe it or not, think about this. How many people can lose six NBA finals and you still look at them and say they're top two, top three all time? That's LeBron James. Four championships, but more importantly, the evolution of his game that has taken place spanning the last 20 years. The selflessness the commitment to excellence, knowing you're the marquee on a night-in, night-out basis for damn near 20 years and never, ever cheated the game of basketball, ever. And so when you he walks away, no matter how we talk about him now, when he walks away, we are going to miss him when he is gone. We will have more of the interview with Dave McMenamin on Countdown coming up at the top of the hour. In the meantime, let me bring Woj into the conversation because... Woj, the Lakers are hovering right in the area of trying to battle for a playoff spot, and we've been waiting all year long to see if there would be any trade moves they might be able to make to bolster their case. Where are we with all of that right now? Yeah, Greeny, we're, we're about a month away from uh, the February 9th trade deadline, and I think for the Lakers, you know, they've got the same issue that a lot of other teams in the NBA who want to improve ahead of the deadline do, which is there are far more buyers than sellers in this marketplace right now and there are a lot of teams who just haven't decided whether they want to get better or they want to concede and start to perhaps unload some assets because there are so many teams uh, bungled together. Look at Toronto, Chicago, Washington. You can go down the list and are those teams going to be sellers by the trade deadline? Buyers, do they stay the same? And even when you look at teams who are at the bottom and are in the lottery and are chasing, at this point, Victor Wimbayama, the number one pick, like Detroit, Detroit will sink down this year, have a high draft pick, but they're not necessarily looking to trade their good veteran players. They want to be good next year when they get 
Kate Cunningham back. And so, you know, as one GM said to me today, uh, because the asking price is so high right now on the few sellers out there, like Utah, uh, even Atlanta in some regards, they want to move John Collins. As a team, you've got to say, I have to have great conviction to make a deal uh, knowing that I'm going to have to give up a lot for it. I got to know this deal is going to make my team a lot better, and I don't think that deal is out there uh, for a Laker team that right now has, you know, really a couple bullets left, and that's those 27, 29 first-round picks. Once they exhaust those, they have nothing else to get better with over the next several years. So they've got to know uh, that a trade makes them better and doesn't just uh, then guarantee that the final years of LeBron James a run in L.A. would be without a championship, without even giving him a chance. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.